Hey Crafty Fam, it's Alex Vanover and welcome back to my craft room. And if you are here for the first time, then welcome because I am so glad that you guys are here. In this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and I'm gonna tell you 20 ideas that I have for making super easy custom gifts using your Cricut. So let's get started. My first DIY gift idea for you is etched glass gifts. I love giving etched glass as a gift because I think it's so classy and people love it so much. You can etch glass on beer mugs, wine glasses, or even casserole dishes. There are so many different ways to do it and it's really, really easy to do with your Cricut. So I will link a tutorial up in the corner of the screen for you guys in case you've never etched glass before. And you can also find links for everything that I'm gonna talk about today down in the description. I'm gonna put together a blog post for you guys so that the links are all in one place. So if you want to see anything um, in more detail, be sure to go to the description and check out that blog post. My second DIY gift idea for you guys are custom hats with HTV. I know that for a lot of guys on our list, it's really, really hard to find things that we can make using the Cricut for them, but I think custom hats are a great way to do that. And I have a tutorial showing you guys how to make custom hats using heat transfer vinyl. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be using my heat press, but I do not have a hat attachment for my heat press and you do not need a hat attachment in order to make custom HTV hats. And in fact, you don't really even need a heat press at all. That's just the technique that I'm showing you in this tutorial. So I will link that up in the corner of this video as well as down in the description below in case you want to make custom HTV hats. My third idea for you guys is to go along with gift cards. I don't know about you guys, but I always feel a little guilty giving just a gift card for Christmas because I never feel like it's enough. So my idea for you is to create an acrylic keychain that goes along with the gift card that you're giving, punch a hole in the corner of the gift card, make sure it's not through the little stripe that they need to, you know, to swipe through the machine, but punch a hole in the corner of the gift card and attach the keychain to the gift card. So for example, if you have a target lover in your life like me, you could give a gift card card um, from Target and then maybe you could make a matching like little bullseye keychain to attach with the gift card as well so that it just gives it a little bit something extra. My fourth DIY gift idea for you guys is to customize a wine glass using adhesive vinyl. I know that as a crafter sometimes I overlook some of those simpler gifts because I feel like that's so easy it almost wouldn't work but for those on our list without a Cricut I'm sure a custom wine glass would be an amazing gift and I mean you can always pair it with a bottle of wine right? Gift idea number Number five is a custom phone grip for um, the person in your life's phone. Now, I do recommend that you definitely seal these with epoxy or UV resin, just because with as much phone or as much use as our phones receive, I have never found a phone grip that actually lasts when it just has vinyl on the top. So I have a tutorial showing you how to seal in your vinyl using epoxy or UV resin. Be sure to check the corner of the screen for a YouTube card to that tutorial or check down in the blog post linked in the description to see the full tutorial of what to do. Gift idea number six is a custom coffee tumbler for the person on your list. Now you guys know there are a ton of ways to do this and none of them are bad, um, but you can definitely do just a plain tumbler and decorate it with vinyl. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. In fact, recently 143 Vinyl started carrying plain stainless steel tumblers that have colors on them. So that would be perfect to decorate with vinyl, no epoxy necessary. But if you want to make an epoxy tumbler for the person on your list, I don't blame you. Those make amazing gifts. So check the corner of the screen for the YouTube card to that playlist or check down in the description. But let me caution you if you are new to epoxy tumblers. I personally do not recommend you making your first couple of tumblers as a gift. And the reason for that is because you're probably going to mess up the first couple of tumblers that you make. And you don't want to put yourself in a tight spot where you can't finish the gift or you have to stay up all night in order to finish it before you need to give it. So if you're brand new to epoxy, I would probably hold off on making epoxy tumblers as a gift this year. But in case you are not new to epoxy, I definitely recommend adding that as an idea to your list because everybody loves to receive epoxy tumblers. Gift idea number seven is a custom garden flag for the person on your list. Now you're like, wait, garden flags? Hold on, but stick with me because I promise you this is a really, really good idea. If you check out garden flags from 143vinyl.com, they're my absolute favorite. You make them using adhesive vinyl and they're made out of that outdoor like like vinyl banner material. So they're super durable, but they also work for inside or outside. So check out how cute this garden flag is. I know that it doesn't look exactly like a garden flag and that's why I think it would make a great gift. So not only can you hang these, of course, outside, but 143 vinyl also carries these wood rods that you can make for indoor 
you basically can turn your garden flags into wall hangings um, inside someone's home. So definitely don't discount these as a gift idea because they are super cute. They don't just have to be your average garden flags. They can be any design because 143 vinyl carries so many different options. Gift idea number eight is a custom wood sign. I don't know about you guys, but I know I love making wood signs and I'm sure anyone on your list would love to receive a custom wood sign. So check out the corner of the screen for my tutorial on how to make those. And don't forget to check the blog post down below to um, learn more about making those. Now, let me caution you though, this is not a last minute DIY gift idea, especially if you're gonna be staining your wood. That's something that's gonna take a couple of days and realistically for most people, probably a a couple of weeks to get all of the steps finished all the way through. So I don't recommend that as a last minute gift idea, but they do make amazing gifts if you have the time to make them. Gift idea number nine would work as a last minute gift though, in case you still need one of those. And that is a reverse canvas. Reverse canvases are super, super easy to make, even if you're brand new to the Cricut. So check the corner of the screen for my tutorial on how to make those or check out my blog post down below because they're super pretty and they're actually really elegant, especially if you buy a hair a higher quality canvas you guys are going to love them Gift idea number 10 is handwritten recipe cards with a customized tin. I love having old school recipe cards in my kitchen because I love having access to old family recipes or even just recipes that my friends love super easily. I don't have to worry about where they're saved or anything like that. So I know that's a little bit old school, but seriously guys, it's an amazing gift. And you can even use a recipe tin if you're gonna be giving the cards in a recipe tin um, to customize the outside with vinyl with either the person's name or a last name or a really, really sweet quote about cooking. So there's tons of great options. That's an old school one that might not be expected, but it's a great gift to give. Gift idea number 11 is customized essential oil roller balls. So I don't know if you guys know this, but you can buy plain roller balls on Amazon. I'll link some that I've used before below um, because I absolutely love giving essential oil blends as a gift to my friends and family. But you can also customize the outside with vinyl. So you can either label like the blend that you have in that roller ball or just about anything that you want. But let me caution you, if you're gonna be using um, essential oil blends that have citrus based oil, in them. I do not recommend putting vinyl on the outside because the vinyl's adhesive will not stand up to citrus essential oil. But if you're using anything else like a stress blend or a headache blend or an allergy blend, it would probably be perfect with a vinyl label on the outside and your favorite blend on the inside. Gift idea number 12 is making customized jewelry using epoxy and molds. If you guys are new to using epoxy, this is a great way to get your feet wet with epoxy and it also makes really, really Really beautiful stuff. So I will link some of my favorite molds down in the description for you guys and check the corner of the screen for my epoxy molds tutorial so you can see all the ins and outs and get it right the first time. Gift idea number 13 is faux leather earrings. If you guys have never made those before with your Cricut, they're actually super, super easy to make and everyone who always receives them is blown away by this gift. So check the corner of the screen for my faux leather tutorial and don't forget to check the description for my blog post with all these links in one place. Gift idea number 14 is a customized wine bag along with a customized acrylic wine topper. These wine bags are from 143vinyl.com and they have tons of different patterns and colors that you can choose from that make such a good gift, of course, with wine included. But you can also take your wine bag to the next level by adding a matching acrylic wine topper. In fact, 143vinyl.com also carries a mini buffalo plaid print and that would be the perfect topper to match this bag because it would be so so cute and it would just take your gift to the next level. Gift idea number 15 is customized ornaments. That's another one that I feel like a lot of us Cricut crafters tend to overlook because we feel like it's so simple, but these are perfect for pretty much anyone on your list, but it's especially great for someone on your list that's had you know, a milestone this year, whether they've gotten married or bought a house or had a new baby or graduated you know, any kind of school, a custom ornament is a great way to do that. So in the corner of the screen, I will link my custom ornaments um, playlist so that you can see all 
the different options for different kinds of ornaments to make. Gift idea number 16 is to make some yummy treats however you'd prefer to do that, whether you want to bake or make some candy or however that works for you. Then you can use your Cricut to make some really pretty customized gift wrap to give the treats in. So for example, you can go into Design Space and look up like treat boxes or favor boxes and you can fit tons of yummy treats in one of those boxes and it looks so pretty coming in a customized gift box. Or you could even buy a tin at the store and use vinyl on the outside of that tin to customize it just to give it something a little bit extra. Gift idea number 17 is epoxy photo coasters. These are so cute and they're really actually really easy to make. All that I needed for this project was a mason jar lid, a picture of course that I trimmed to fit to size, and some epoxy to go on the inside. And I did customize the outside with a little bit of yarn, but you can totally do these in a lot of different ways. So check the corner of the screen for my tutorial on how to make these. And don't forget to check my blog post below for all the links in one spot. Gift idea number 18 is a custom sugar or salt scrub. You can find tons of different recipes for sugar and salt scrubs on Pinterest, so be sure to check one of those out. And then you can take the outside of the jar that you're make, that you're giving the scrub in and customize it with a vinyl label, whether it's a certain type of recipe and you wanna label it with that, or just the person's name. That's a super sweet and little bit extra special way to give something that everybody loves to receive. Gift idea number 19 is to decorate a coffee mug like a ceramic coffee mug and stuff it full of lots of little goodies. This is a great way to make a dollar store gift because you can find tons of ceramic mugs at Dollar Tree. You can put a vinyl label on the outside or even just a cute quote or image and you can stuff it with tons of fun things on the inside. Some ideas could be like fuzzy socks, more baked treats, um, pens, candy. This is a great one for um, gifts that you wanna make several of. So for example, if you're giving a gift to all of your neighbors or all of your coworkers, this is a great, really, really easy one to make. You can also do super cheap. Gift idea number 20 is a pretty unique one. I think a really amazing gift to give would be a custom set of stationery to someone on your list. And there's a few different ways you could go about doing this. You could either go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and get a set of pre-made cards that are totally blank. And you could set those up on a Cricut mat and have your Cricut, you know, draw something on them or you could even just use regular pieces of cardstock and set up a card in design space and then use the pen again to draw a design or you know write something on the front of it. This is great for someone in your life who likes to write a lot of handwritten notes um, because I think it would be extra special. But don't forget to make envelopes that match the stationery. And I would say, I don't know, between a set of like five to 10 cards would be more than sufficient. And that would be a super special and super customized gift to give this holiday season. Let me know in the comments what your favorite gift idea from this list was. And if you have a favorite gift idea that I didn't say in this list, please let me know that down in the comments as well, because I would love to hear more ideas and I'm sure everybody else watching would too. And if you decide to make any of these DIY gifts or anything else from any of my other tutorials, if you share them on Instagram, please use the hashtag DIY Alex. And I would also love to connect with you on social media. So you can find me as DIY Alex Vanover on pretty much all major social platforms. I'll also put links down in the description so that you have a super easy way to connect. And if you haven't already, please click right here to subscribe to the DIY Alex YouTube channel. Scroll down just a little bit and ring the bell right next to subscribe so that you never miss when I upload a new video Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I hope we can craft again soon.